Women on Real Discussions. Thank you for joining us, and today our topic is going to be your social media self. What does our online social media persona say about us, and is it in line with who we are as members of the Church of Christ? And can we use social media as a way to share and fight for our faith? And lastly, how many of us think about what we're about to post online? I'm Bernie Rosquitas, and today joining me is Priscilla Shelton, Mar Gutierrez, and Macy Nukup. Hello, ladies. Thank you for joining me. Hello. Let's get right into it. So all of us have some form of social media, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. All right. There, I was actually reading this thing online, uh, Wiki, WikiHow, I think it is. WikiHow, am I saying that right? <laughs> and it's, there's a thing there that it's giving you like the step-by-step -step process on how to fake your identity online. Uh, it, yeah. it, 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 even helps you maintain the information that you put there so nothing, no false information, true information cross to make sure that what this fake persona that you're perceiving is correct. Um, now I have to ask, first of all, how many people do you think have viewed this? How many viewers? Give a guess. A lot, a little. 48,000. 48,000 people are reading about how to be Tom Smith, who likes to skydive and parachute. Um, why do you think this is out there? Do, uh, first of all, do we have, do you have, when you speak to someone and you know you're on their Facebook page, you're kind of like, wait a second, you're Chatty Cathy on Facebook because on Wednesday I knew you went to the mall and you ate sushi <laughs> and you went and got your nails done. And then I know what the sushi and did then to when you after. Right? <laughs> and then when I seen you, you're like, hey, how was your day today? And you're like, yeah, right. it's okay. And they're like, you just posted five things about what you did today. Okay. Do you have any of those on your Facebook where you're like, I don't know who you are when I talk to you in person? Yes? Yeah, I think so. I, I think it's more of like, um, like that's a comfort thing, a, com mm. a comfort blanket or something, mm -hmm. like to be able to post and share freely, even though you're hitting more people, but right. in reality, it's not as personal. Right. If I ask you how you're doing, you're like, mm, I'm good. Like, hold on, let me check your Facebook real quick to see how, <laughs> see right. how you're really doing. You know, I, I you don't- got your nails yeah. done today. You could have told me <laughs> about that. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> TLTI. <laughs> no, really. Do you post a lot about church? If I was, if I was to go on your Facebook page, Will there be traces of being an INC member? Mar, do you, do you post all the time? How often do you post? I'm posting maybe like once, twice a week on mm -hmm. Facebook. Okay. Um, yeah, there are like INC moments there, like right. um, music videos or right. whatever is new on INC media. Mm -hmm. You were talking about how you like share your faith mm -hmm. and all that. Has anybody here, when they've shared their faith, of course, it, there's positive feedback. Has there ever been a negative feedback? Has I've heard tons of negative feedback, and a lot of it from actual members, making really? fun of other members who constantly because they post too much. They, they post too much, like oh, they're just all about their faith, or or oh, a, isn't it a little bit too much? You know, right. Right. and so keeping that in mind, that people actually within the church have that view that you could share too much. Now when I post, I'm like, uh-oh, <laughs> like maybe I should just, you know, I'll post one, then I'll post another one just to make sure there's, there's still that balance, balance right. but I don't know if you can actually balance that kind of thing. If it's something you who, should, that should be balanced. Are, correct, mm -hmm. correct. Anybody been unfriended? Has anybody been deleted from so, yeah. sad trombone? Block. <laughs> yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. During, um, no, during CTC, I was unfriended. Maybe not blocked. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but unfriended for sure. Uh, during C2C, oh. you know, um, so there were a lot of things going on during C2C. Sure. We had a lot of material on INC Media. Absolutely. And during the, the time of the centennial. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so and so I took that opportunity to send out that digital invite to my friends um, via Facebook Messenger. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, usually they'll just not respond. <laughs> right. You know, the, I could see that they see it. They just won't say anything. You know. Right. It's the um, worst. I know you're like, ah, it's <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Please. Yeah, um, but I did um, do the emoticon with the eyes, just like <laughs> the cat <laughs> with a ball. No, <laughs> no. This time, no. This time, they actually said something. They're just like, mm, "Is this church again?" You know, oh. like, uh, "Is this like a church program?" And I was like, "Yes, it is. It's gonna be great." Mm -hmm. You know, come to the church program and then come to the evangelical mission. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and then after that, it was just didn't really say anything. But I only found out that they unfriended me was when I saw. 
um, a mutual friend had liked their post, you know, like a picture or something. So I was like, okay, let's go check it out. And I couldn't oh. because um, we're not friends. <laughs> yeah, it was like, oh, please let me see your picture. No. Okay with that? Did you or did you feel like, wow, I just I just lost a friend. Maybe I need to delete some links here or. or no, well, I mean, I guess I I. Um, assumed that based on our last interaction was that mm -hmm. right you know um, and then after that I'm unfriended I was like well I guess it comes with the territory of sharing your faith sure mm -hmm. right sure. I didn't expect it mm -hmm. you know I didn't think it was necessary to go that far right but if they are gonna take it that far then it's just like I mean it's something you have to accept right right it's it's I funny that you, you mention that because you will see traces of, of INC me being an INC member on my Facebook. And when I say traces, it's pictures of me, church activities, and mm -hmm. the only reason why you know it's a church activity because I'm wearing an INC shirt, there's the insignia in the back, mm -hmm. but I haven't really shared any links using it to missionize. To be quite honest, I think a part of me felt like if I post all these links and all this material, it's going to make me seem like some crazy person trying to just in fanatic, fanatic. Mm -hmm. and that's something for me that I you know have to think about but knowing that you know what this is who I am and this is who I am 24 7 right, right. I'm not gonna be INC when I just go to church and then once I hit that out the door I'm like hey mm -hmm. my name is Brene <laughs> this is who I am no <laughs> you know this is something that and I'm glad that you you brought that up because maybe this is also a reason why a lot of INC members don't share because they don't want to seem too too Christian. I don't know what that means, but mm -hmm. but what's wrong with that? Right. Yeah. <laughs> How many of us use Facebook as or any of the social media, Instagram, Twitter, all that? How many of us use it to missionize? Have you posted anything during the centennial, mm -hmm. the 26th and 27th? Actually, just that month. That month, there were so many brethren that yeah. changed their profile mm -hmm. to the it, it's some type of INC insignia. Mm -hmm. And I think oh, some of them, centennial. did they change the centennial their, seal. The yeah. centennial seal, mm -hmm. and I think they did, they changed their names? Oh yeah, yeah, that I, was on was Instagram. It? They changed dot INC on their Instagrams too. Mm -hmm. Right, now, we, have you seen anywhere they've constantly, that July, June, posting, yeah. I'm a member of the Church of Christ, I'm proud. Has, have you seen any con a change in any of the Facebook statuses about who they are as INC members? You know, the funny thing is about the, um, the Centennial Seal when everyone was changing it, yeah. um, somebody actually told me like, man, every time I see someone change their profile picture, I feel a pressure to have to change mine too. But then I have to s go through my whole page and make sure that it all lines up. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know what? We should, we should <laughs> have, have to do that. Have done that. Yeah. My only concern was which logo to choose. <laughs> Yeah, right. but it was it just ran through their mind. If I'm mm -hmm. gonna change it, I have a responsibility to also just make sure it kind of matches the, the yeah, seal. So the I was like, yeah. you know, it, it it makes sense, but at the same time you should know who you are all, all the time. time. Mm -hmm. All the time. Have you seen on your Facebook page any changes, any shift of the constant, you know, posting of I'm proud to be an INC member and it's then definitely dropped. Because right. the centennial's over, right. and so people aren't feeling like that's the thing to do anymore. You know, or like it's a season. You know, <laughs> it's I, still centennial year. It's still the right. same. absolutely. But yeah. even if it's not the centennial year, you you're know. still motivated. I think if anything, you should be like, that was amazing. That should be another force, another drive to like, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna keep because uh, there. I've seen a, a slight change. There are some members though who are constantly putting everything that is Iglesia about them online. And when I read that, it makes me, I, I don't feel jealous or like, oh my gosh, really, again? <laughs> it actually makes me think about, well, how am I, am I posting? I think I should right. be the same way because they're showing a good example. I, I don't think anything negative of it. I feel like, you know, I think I need to be doing my part as well. It, and, I, and I'm hoping when the viewers when they watch this, they feel the same thing. That when, instead of you know judging someone that they posting way too much, I think mm -hmm. it's about like maybe I'm not posting enough because we are the light. That's what God wants us to be: is to shine. Mm -hmm. 
and we are given this tool to use because you could it, social media could be used and at the same time you know what you're talking about how we're the light you know we want to shine you right. just see one of us shining they're going to be kind of lonely about it but the more of us that are shining together yeah. right it's it's we're going to break we're gonna break that mentality that mm -hmm. there's a that it's empowering, that it's right? negative. Yeah. Very, you know, right. it's, it's a positive thing. Absolutely, and they don't have to be alone doing it. Like the right. more of us that are sharing online, mm -hmm. um, the more of us that line up our virtual lives with our actual lives, right. and hopefully both of them are you know in line in with line. the Christian way right. of life. Right. You know, that'll be the norm for members of the Church mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. Right, and like in the first time in history, this is where anyone in the world has a platform to Absolutely. share their voice you know in the past how could you do it you have to do it through courier pigeon or right. something like that <laughs> send a horse you know but now yeah like now i am going to get sushi <laughs> and tapping it sushi <laughs> so modern <laughs> now like to invite you can invite someone across the world just like by sharing something yeah. so we have that you know we have that technology let's use it for the right absolutely reasons. and so we have a challenge for you viewers out there a social media challenge we're asking you to visit one of our websites incmedia.org or iglesianicrystal.net pick any of the material that you see on there and share it on any of your social media pages and hashtag it INC social media. As a matter of fact, I think we should kind of share. I think we should look and yeah. share. We should share. Now? Now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I'm going on there. No. And then, okay, there, I'm doing it right now. Sharing. Boom. One link only. One link. One link. Facebook. Done. I'm done. Okay. There you go. Well, okay, it's in there. That is all the time that we have for today. We want to thank each and every one of you for joining us, and we hope that you enjoyed spending time with us. And so the next time you're on your social media page, just take time to remember that we're Christians all the time, even online. I want to thank my panel of wonderful sister friends here, Silla Shelton, Mar Gutierrez, and Macy Newcup, and myself. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here on Word, Women on Real Discussion. We'll see you next time.